Due to insanely popular demand, according to me, I had to go make a part two, primarily because I totally forgot about what was probably the most controversial Pokemon design of them all. Klefki. Klefki is a very badly designed Pokemon because how dare it be organized and helpful. Every argument against Pokemon like this is literally just the person saying what object it's based off of in an incredulous way. It's a chandelier? It's a ice cream? It's a key ring? And then you say that you like it and they go, but it's a key ring though. And then you say, uh, Klefki is a cute little fairy that floats around with a cheerful jingling like goddamn sleigh bells. It's peaceful and uplifting like wind chimes on your front porch and then they go but it's a key ring though that counters nothing you're just a broken record with a stick up its ass i've heard actual arguments for why object-based pokemon are bad because they say it doesn't make sense for pokemon who have been there assumedly since forever to be based on man-made objects that haven't have you forgotten the game you're playing? Half the Pokedex entries are logical fallacies and impossibilities that if taken literally would mean complete chaos and the destruction of the world. And you have a problem with a Pokemon that jingles? I mean, did your older sister used to jingle keys over your crib when you were a baby to drown out the sound of your dad domestically abusing your mom? In that case, steer clear of keyholes and never play Kingdom Hearts, but don't take it out on the Pokemon. Honedge. Don't make Honedge unsheath itself and slice your whole life up, because it can and will. The Pokemon is a spirit inhabiting a sword, which is a tale as old as time in ancient Japanese and also everywhere else legends. What, you don't like it when legends come to life? The only thing I can surmise from you not liking Honedge is that you once lived in a small peaceful village before a bandit leader and his army of ruffians ransacked the town, kicking down doors and putting every man, woman, and child to the sword, and you only avoided stab-related death by your family putting you down a trapdoor beneath the floorboards, and though you covered your ears, the piercing screams of your flesh and blood being gutted couldn't help but penetrate your hands, travel down your ear canal, and rattle around in your soul, in which case definitely never get pillaged by bandits again, but don't take it out on the Pokemon. Love Disc. Love Disk is a heart-shaped fish that somehow doesn't evolve into Alomomola, but regardless, it's more of a symbol than a fully-fledged Pokemon. People give Love Disk as gifts to their Valentines as a show of love, who were then stuck with a terrible battler, but I'm sure it's at least a nice pet. This one's easy. You suffered a broken heart. You watch Love Disk flit around all intact, not cracked or split down the middle in the slightest, while you nurse your emotional wounds that never seem to heal and only find comfort in the resentment of others' success at finding what you lost. Love Disk is a reminder of what you may never achieve, in which case definitely volunteer for a heart transplant that replaces your broken one with a metal robot heart that can feel nothing, but don't take it out on the Pokémon. Cryogonal. I could understand not liking this Pokemon's design if it was a gut reaction to you seeing it for the first time and justifying the piss that began to run down your leg. Cryogonal is one of the most terrifying looking Pokemon out there. Those frozen little bead things around its mouth are ice chains that can be whipped and strangled around prey to freeze them at negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit. If Cryogonal was the last thing you saw before you died, your soul would never be at peace. Of course there's trauma associated with not liking its design. I mean, did you have a girlfriend you loved and adored above all else but was allergic to snow? And so to avoid that, you moved to the hottest place you could until, oops, a freak blizzard appeared out of nowhere and your girlfriend broke out in hives and puffed up like a balloon animal before her smothered organs finally ceased functioning? In that case, definitely be dreaming of a non-white Christmas, but don't take it out on the Pokemon. Mr. Mime. Holy hell, a Gen 1 Pokemon. Everyone says Mr. Mime looks like a pedophile that would trap kids in an invisible box, but as the faithful servant friend of Ash's mom, it's been there for the family since the beginning. Not even a cloister with shell smash can sweep as good as a Mr. Mime with a broom. Dust types don't stand a chance. This Pokemon looks like if trauma was a person, so I understand your apprehension, and yet... I mean, did a mime once lock you in his basement and then use his hands to trace the outline of an imaginary penis and proceed to air penetrate you until it was air satisfied? In that case, definitely fire invisible bullets at every mime you see, but don't take it out on the Pokemon! Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.